Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is part two of this series. And if you didn't watch the first one, how I made this uh, four triangles put together, I found an easier way to have it snap to. Uh, I was having a little bit of difficulty yesterday, so we're just going to start. I'm going to go right from the center, holding down the shift and the control button, and it should snap to that edge. Now, when you got that, hit the plus key, move one down there, and make sure they're in the center. Make sure when you let it go, it says center, because if you're off just a little bit, it's going to cause you havoc. So we can say center or node, because that's the intersection of that. And I'm just hitting the plus key. Now, I have the um, pyramid shape uh, grouped. So now this is what I did yesterday. And then I thought, there's got to be an easier way to snap to. So I'm going to take a two-point line. If you go from center to center, from center to center, and what this line is going to do, sometimes you have to click off of it to get it to uh, not hit that line. Okay, now you have these lines. Now, basically all you have to do is extend this line. And it's kind of, you got to make sure you hit the line. And then if you'll hold down the control button while moving it, it'll be, uh, and you need that two-sided arrow. They can be longer. They can do it even at an angle. Uh, but the control button will, whoop, you don't want the four-sided cross. You want the two, two arrows, not the four, but the two. Matter of fact, the control button kind of messing that up a little bit. So just maybe don't even hold down the control button. But get the two-sided arrow. Now you have that. Now we're going to make our shape. And we're going to take the virtual segment delete key. And we're going to delete... We're going to leave the lines. And this is a little bit different than I did yesterday because now it's really done. And so what we're going to do, we want this shape. I'm going to change my nudge factor something higher to get this out of the way. So we're at, I'm huge. So I'm going to put my nudge factor on 120. And I'm going to get my lines out of the way for just a second. And then I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool, and the Smart Fill tool is going to make one object. Now I'm going to left click, right click, and I can nudge my lines back over one, because I nudged them over two. And what that did, that gave me a perfect line through the center. And you'll see in just a second, now take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Now I would group this together, control G, and then when you control D and duplicate it, get your four-sided cross, and I must, I must have made a copy. So let's make sure that's grouped, control G, control D to duplicate it. Get your four-sided cross right on that node and watch it snap right to that line. Let me get rid of this other stuff. And then you can just continue that. Control D to make a duplicate. Get the four-sided cross or four arrows and see it just snap to it perfectly. And then you could go uphill. Control D to duplicate it. Uh, grab a four-sided cross and watch it just snap right to it. Now, because we hit it on the first try, we can duplicate it like that. Now, you've got these cross lines but with the virtual segment delete key, there's no problem deleting these lines. Just kind of go make a little box right through the middle. It's a little bit time consuming, but the time you've saved in um, snapping to uh, is well worth it. And there you have that shape. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.